The moon has been a constant companion to our planet for billions of years, yet many of its mysteries remain unsolved despite numerous research projects and manned lunar landings. New discoveries continue to shed light on the moon's nature and characteristics. This discussion delves into some of the most recent and fascinating lunar discoveries, starting with the mysterious light phenomena that often appear on the moon's surface. The moon has long been seen as a mystical celestial body, inspiring many legends in mythology and spiritualism. These tales are fueled not just by the moon's existence, but also by the spectacular events that occur on its surface. These include the moon's phases, lunar eclipses, and mysterious light phenomena known as lunar transient phenomena, LTP, that have been observed for centuries. Despite being studied for decades, these flashes of light remain unexplained. Since the term lunar transient phenomena was coined in the late 1960s, there have been over 1,500 recorded reports of these mysterious light phenomena occurring on the moon. These events are characterized by localized flashes of light and changes in color on the lunar surface, often appearing and disappearing quickly. The transient nature of these phenomena makes them particularly challenging to study, and their origins remain largely unexplained. A significant portion of these reports comes from amateur astronomers and casual observers who have spotted these phenomena through telescopes or even with the naked eye. While these accounts provide valuable data, they also introduce a level of uncertainty. Amateur observations can vary in accuracy, and without professional equipment or expertise, it's difficult to rule out alternative explanations such as optical illusions, atmospheric disturbances, or equipment malfunctions. This makes it challenging for scientists to determine which reports are scientifically relevant and which might be due to observational errors. Despite these challenges, the persistence of these reports over centuries cannot be ignored. Historical accounts of similar phenomena add to the intrigue. For instance, one of the earliest recorded sightings dates back to 1178, when a group of monks in Canterbury, England, reported seeing a burning flare on the moon's surface. They described it as a sudden fiery light that seemed to flicker on the lunar surface before disappearing. This medieval account is particularly fascinating because it predates modern telescopic observations, suggesting that such phenomena have been occurring for centuries, if not millennia. These historical accounts, while intriguing, are often difficult to verify. The descriptions are usually based on visual observations without any supporting data, making it impossible to draw definitive conclusions. However, they do indicate that lunar transient phenomena are not a recent occurrence but have been a long-standing enigma. The consistency of these reports across different time periods and cultures suggests that they are not merely figments of imagination or optical artifacts but may have a real underlying cause. Some modern observations of lunar transient phenomena have been made by professional astronomers using advanced technology, which adds significant credibility to these sightings. The use of sophisticated telescopes, high-resolution cameras, and automated observation systems allow scientists to monitor the moon with a level of precision that was unimaginable in earlier times. These tools have made it possible to document LTPS more accurately and systematically, providing a wealth of data that can be analyzed in greater detail. However, even with these technological advancements, capturing these brief and elusive events remains a formidable challenge. The moon's surface is vast, covering an area of nearly 14.6 million square miles, which means that pinpointing and monitoring the exact locations where LTPS occur is like searching for a needle in a haystack. Moreover, these phenomena are notoriously unpredictable. They can appear anywhere on the lunar surface and often last only a few seconds. This fleeting nature makes it difficult to coordinate observations or to have instruments pointed at the right place at the right time. As a result of these challenges, the systematic study of LTPS is complicated. While automated telescopes can continuously scan the moon's surface, capturing an LTP in action still requires a great deal of luck or extensive monitoring over prolonged periods. Even when these phenomena are observed, the data collected is often limited to a brief flash or a change in color without any additional context. This lack of comprehensive data makes it difficult to draw concrete conclusions or to develop a unified theory that explains all observed LTPS. Because of the difficulties in directly observing and recording LTPS, much of the scientific work surrounding these phenomena involves theoretical speculation. 
scientists have proposed a variety of hypotheses to explain LTPS, ranging from gas emissions to electrostatic discharges. But without consistent observational data, these theories remain largely speculative. One of the leading theories suggests that LTPS may be caused by outgassing, a process where gas trapped beneath the lunar surface is suddenly released, possibly due to seismic activity or the impact of micrometeorites. When this gas reaches the surface, it could briefly reflect sunlight, creating the appearance of a flash or a change in color. This theory is supported by the fact that some LTPS have been observed in areas of the moon known to have high levels of seismic activity, such as near the edges of Lunar Maria or the locations of past volcanic activity. Another theory proposes that LTPS are related to electrostatic charges on the moon's surface. The moon has no atmosphere to speak of, so its surface is directly exposed to solar wind, cosmic rays, and micrometeoroid impacts. These interactions could generate static electricity, leading to brief localized discharges that could manifest as flashes of light. This explanation is consistent with observations of LTPS during times of heightened solar activity when the moon is being bombarded by charged particles from the sun. Despite these plausible explanations, there is still no consensus on the exact cause of LTPS. Theories are often based on indirect evidence and without the ability to reproduce or predict these phenomena, they remain hypothetical. This uncertainty keeps the study of LTPS on the fringes of lunar science, more a topic of intrigue and curiosity than one of settled science. To overcome these challenges, scientists are developing new methods and technologies to improve the observation and understanding of LTPS. For example, the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze vast amounts of lunar observation data could help identify patterns or correlations that have so far gone unnoticed. Similarly, future lunar missions, whether manned or robotic, could be equipped with instruments specifically designed to detect and study LTPS, providing the real-time data needed to unlock the secrets of these enigmatic phenomena. Various hypotheses have been proposed to explain these mysterious events. Some scientists suggest that they could be caused by outgassing, small bursts of gas released from the moon's interior due to seismic activity or the impact of micrometeorites. When this gas reaches the surface, it could briefly reflect sunlight, creating the appearance of a flash or a change in color. Other theories propose that these phenomena could be related to electrostatic charges on the moon's surface, possibly generated by solar wind or the interaction of the moon's regolith, the layer of loose, fragmented material covering the bedrock with cosmic rays. Another possibility is that these light phenomena are caused by impacts from small meteoroids. The moon is constantly bombarded by space debris, and when a meteoroid strikes its surface, the energy released could create a brief flash of light. This would be consistent with the transient nature of these phenomena and could explain the localized flashes observed by astronomers. Despite these theories, there is still no consensus on the exact cause of lunar transient phenomena. The moon's environment is unique, and without the atmosphere or weather patterns found on Earth, the usual explanations for light phenomena don't apply. As a result, the scientific community remains intrigued and somewhat puzzled by these enigmatic events. Continued observation and technological advancements may eventually provide the answers, but for now, Lunar transient phenomena remain one of the many mysteries of our closest celestial neighbor. To study these light phenomena, scientists use a telescope equipped with two modern cameras controlled remotely from the University of Würzburg in Germany. The telescope is located in Spain, where better weather conditions prevail for lunar observation. When the telescope detects a light phenomenon, the images are automatically sent to the research team for analysis. However, the investigation faces challenges such as interference from SpaceX's Starlink satellites. The team is constantly refining their software to accurately detect lunar flashes and distinguish them from other interference. Though the exact cause of these natural spectacles is still unknown, several theories have been proposed. These include gas flows, smaller galactic impacts, and electrostatic phenomena. Some scientists suggest that gas released by seismic activity on the moon could create the flashes when illuminated by sunlight. Meteorite impacts are also a likely cause, as observed during a total lunar eclipse in 2019. Residual volcanism may also play a role, 
as these phenomena are often observed in specific lunar craters. The mysterious light phenomena on the moon are not the only intriguing events captivating the scientific community. Another fascinating aspect of lunar activity is the occurrence of massive rockfalls, where giant boulders frequently tumble from higher elevations onto the moon's surface. This discovery has added a new dimension to our understanding of lunar geology and the dynamic processes that shape the moon's landscape. Researchers have made significant strides in studying these rockfalls, utilizing advanced imaging technology and data analysis techniques. By meticulously analyzing over 2 million high-resolution images of the moon's surface, scientists have identified more than 135,000 distinct rockfall events. This comprehensive analysis has provided valuable insights into the frequency, distribution, and potential causes of these rockfalls, revealing a far more active lunar environment than previously thought. Initially, scientists hypothesized that these rockfalls were primarily triggered by seismic activity, similar to how landslides occur on Earth. The moon experiences moonquakes, which are seismic tremors that can be caused by tidal forces from Earth's gravitational pull or thermal expansion and contraction as the moon cools down during its long nights. These moonquakes were believed to dislodge rocks from steep slopes, causing them to cascade down onto the lunar surface. However, further investigation into the origins of these rockfalls has led to a surprising revelation. Researchers now believe that over 80% of these rockfalls are not primarily caused by seismic activity but by asteroid impacts. The moon, lacking a protective atmosphere, is constantly bombarded by space debris ranging from tiny micrometeorites to larger asteroids. When these objects collide with the moon's surface, they release a significant amount of energy, creating craters and displacing vast amounts of rock and regolith. These impacts do more than just create craters. They also generate complex networks of underground cracks and fissures. These cracks can extend far from the initial impact site, destabilizing large sections of the lunar surface over time. As the structural integrity of these areas is compromised, the weakened rock masses eventually give way, resulting in rockfalls. This process can occur long after the original impact, meaning that an asteroid strike can have geological consequences that persist for years or even centuries. The discovery that asteroid impacts are the primary cause of most lunar rockfalls has significant implications for our understanding of the moon's geological history. It suggests that the lunar surface is far more dynamic than once thought, with continuous reshaping occurring not just through slow processes like thermal expansion, but also through more sudden and violent events like asteroid impacts. This finding also highlights the moon's vulnerability to space debris and underscores the importance of studying impact craters and their surrounding areas to gain a deeper understanding of lunar geology. The frequent occurrence of rockfalls on the moon also has practical implications for future lunar exploration and colonization efforts. Understanding where and how these rockfalls occur can help scientists identify potential hazards for astronauts and robotic missions. For example, regions with a high incidence of rockfalls might be considered more dangerous for establishing bases or conducting scientific experiments. Conversely, these areas might also be of particular interest for studying freshly exposed geological features, offering new opportunities for research. The identification of over 135,000 rockfalls through the analysis of millions of lunar images represents a significant achievement in lunar research. It demonstrates the power of modern imaging technology and data analysis techniques in uncovering the hidden dynamics of celestial bodies. This research has not only expanded our knowledge of the moon's geological activity, but also provided a foundation for future studies that could further unravel the mysteries of our closest celestial neighbor. The discovery of frequent rockfalls on the moon, largely driven by asteroid impacts, has opened up new avenues for understanding lunar geology. It challenges previous assumptions about the moon's surface being static and unchanging, and reveals a more complex and active environment. As scientists continue to study these events and their implications, our knowledge of the moon will undoubtedly deepen, providing insights that could be crucial for future exploration and possibly even habitation. Asteroid impacts have also shaped the moon's landscape, forming mountains like Mons Huygens in a matter of minutes. Unlike the slow formation of mountains on Earth, the lunar peaks were created almost instantaneously by the force of impacting objects. Additionally, 
the misconception of a dark side of the moon is clarified. This side is also illuminated by the sun and experiences the same lunar phases as the side visible from Earth, just in reverse order. Recent advancements in lunar exploration have also revealed intriguing details about the moon's surface composition and internal structure. High-resolution data from missions like NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, and China's Chang'e series have provided unprecedented insights into the moon's topography and mineralogy. For instance, detailed maps of the lunar surface have uncovered a network of tectonic features, including faults and fractures, which may offer clues about the moon's geological history and its thermal evolution. Another exciting development is the discovery of water ice deposits in permanently shadowed regions of lunar craters. These areas, located at the poles, never receive sunlight, allowing water ice to accumulate and remain stable. The presence of water ice is a crucial finding as it holds potential for supporting future lunar bases. It could be used for life support as drinking water or even to generate oxygen and rocket fuel. Additionally, understanding the distribution of water ice can inform the strategies for future lunar missions and the potential for sustainable lunar exploration. The ongoing analysis of lunar samples returned by various missions continues to enrich our understanding of the moon's volcanic activity. For example, recent studies have identified traces of volcanic glass in the samples, indicating that the moon has experienced relatively recent volcanic eruptions. These findings provide important context for understanding the moon's volcanic past and its thermal history, revealing a more dynamic and active geological history than previously assumed.